you are in this video we are going to see a problem on projection of planes for that here is the question a circular plate of 60 mm diameter is inclined to hp in such a way that the top view appears to be an ellipse of minor axis 35 mm draw the projections of the plate and find its inclination with hp so this is the question in front of us let us start with the solution part here I'll be explaining the conditions step by step. XY line then VPHP. Here the question is a circular plate of 60 mm diameter is inclined to HP in such a way that the top view appears to be an ellipse. Now the top view is an ellipse. It means here the method is not mentioned so it is clear that it will be first angle method of projection. In that case the top view is in HP. So the ellipse would be in HP and when the ellipse is in HP it means that the circular plate will also be in HP its diameter is 60 mm so I'll start drawing it that is drawing the circular plate in HP that is the top view So the radius is 30 mm and the diameter is 60. We get this circular plate into the top view. Now I will divide it into 8 equal parts. It can even be divided into 12 equal parts so that you can get more number of points. But whenever you are solving it, if you divide into 8 equal parts then also it is correct. So here I will measure an angle of 45 degree. On both sides then giving the notations here So this is a circular plate in the top view and in the front view it will appear as a line because since it is a plane it doesn't have any thickness. Two and eight are onto the same location. Then three and seven, four and six. Then after that the condition is circular plate of 60 mm diameter is inclined to HP so that inclination with HP will be seen in VP means this is the circular plate which is looking like a horizontal line in VP now this horizontal line will be inclined in such a way that the top view appears to be an ellipse of minor axis 35 mm it means here I can say that for the ellipse the major axis will be fixed that will be corresponding to 60 mm diameter so I'll keep this vertical line fixed and this horizontal line will become minor axis it means I'll keep the left hand corner that is point A on the circumference as fixed and then moving it about 0.5 so when I turn this circular plate about 0.5 I'm going to get an ellipse here so for that the procedure is get point one dash Measuring 35 mm as the minor axis. Now 
so already i can say that point 0.1 and 5 are there it means the ellipse should end within this region which is the minor axis 35 mm and the major axis is constant so what i'll do here is measure the length of this circular plate from 1 dash to 5 dash keeping on 1 dash cutting this line so this will be point 5 dash marking the remaining points in order after 5 dash 4 dash and 6 dash So after getting these points, I'll project them down. Starting with 2 and 8. Here is point 3 and point 7 then where i was getting point 2 on the same line there will be point 8 as well Point four. This is point six. Now joining all these points in order to get the ellipse. Here I'm using the French curve to join these points. They should be joined with the help of smooth curve. So, drawing the curve here as well. Making it dark. So after making this top view dark, I'll make the front view that is this inclined line dark. This angle is what I have to measure here with HP. This is inclined with HP seen in VP. So that angle is theta. Next, I'll make the initial condition also dark. So here is the initial condition where this circular plate was looking like a line in the front view. And in the top view, it was looking like a circle. Here it is ellipse and the inclined line. Next, I'll measure this angle theta. Fifty three degree. So I'll write down therefore the inclination of the plane with HP is 
theta is equal to 53 degree that is an answer then giving the dimensions here Diameter is 60 mm. The minor axis of the ellipse in the top view is 35 mm. This is the true shape, and here we have apparent shape. And with this, the problem is completed.